The battle for the East African Legislative Assembly race has been drawn after the NRM's top decision-making organ of the ruling party NRM last evening endorsed the six incumbent Yara members of parliament to retain their position at the regional assembly. Those retained are George Odong, Dennis Namara, James Kakosa, Mary Mojenyi, Rosa Kor Okuro, and Paul Musamali. We are humbled by the endorsement and um, it is a vote of confidence in the work that we have been doing, which is consistent with our policy on regional integration as a country. And I want to thank also the, the media and the NTV for first of all making matters of regional integration become public issues for public discourse. The NRM Central Executive Committee says they have decided to recommend that the NRM incumbent be retained in recognition of their exceptional performance in the Fourth Assembly. There are still critical issues of our security, uh, regional peace and security. Uh, that really is something that is in our entry, given that uh, um, the Democratic Republic of Congo has just joined the community. Uh, it brings with it a lot of prospects, but also comes with it a lot of challenges. That the race attracted 130 aspirants, the highest number ever since Uganda started sending her nine representatives to the regional assembly in Arusha, Tanzania. 63 of these pulled out of the race at the first round, but the SEC resolved to drop all the aspirants and recommended that the incumbents should retain their positions. The decision was perhaps premised on the president said by the party to maintain the incumbents in the same positions. However, DP's Fred Mukasambide, UPC's Chris Opoka, and the NRM leaning independent Susan Nakauchi will not return to Arusha as legislators, having served their two terms limit. The six members will now be forwarded to the NRM parliamentary caucus for approval and later to the general parliament so that they can compete with other contestants from opposition parties and independent candidates. UPC has already chosen Fred Bill as its flag bearer, with DP picking Gerard Siranda as flag bearer. The two are expected to sail through due to the current relationship the two parties enjoy with the ruling party NRM. It remains to be seen as who will take up the one position of the independent. Ronex Tendo Kisembo is a new entrant as an independent candidate. The power of sports in uniting the region has been felt already. Where, where politics may not prevail so much, we've seen the power of sport. I believe if young people are rallied through sports and the leadership at strategic level can embrace what we are saying, then we can engage the leadership at the Olympic, the International Olympic Committee. The 42 year old Kisembo brings on board a wealth of experience into regional affairs through sports. Uh, we led a team of beauty queens, Miss Uganda, Miss Kenya, Miss Tanzania, and Miss Burundi into Bujumbura for the Bujumbura Peace Run. Uh, we that attracted also the diplomats with an, an objective of letting people know that all is not lost. Burundi can get back uh, to their feet as a member state. Away from that, we initiated the Pedal for Peace series. We've been doing cycling events. His candidature is premised on marketing the region as a single destination and fronting sports in international competition as a region. Normally, when we go for the Olympics or World Championships, each partner state a flags off their team with a national flag. But where does that leave the region? So we as Africa Mashariki first came up with an idea that whereas there is Team Kenya with a Kenyan flag, Team Uganda with a Ugandan flag, why can't we merge and say, yes, Kenya has good marathoners. Uganda recently of late, we're also having very good uh, athletes, but Tanzanians are good boxers. Uh, you can have Burundians. So each country has a comparative advantage. So we just need to merge. Because of his legacy in sports, Kisembo was decorated with a hero's medal by President Yoweri Museveni. For me to be considered for an award of an independence medal, based on my selfless efforts in promoting regional integration, especially among the young people. Other independents include Jacqueline Mongin, the National Interplatform Party, the leading opposition party in the Parliament of Uganda, are expected to fill the candidate, while FDC chose Harad Kaija to compete. 
Elections are expected to be conducted before 17 September 2022, 90 days before the expiry of the fourth assembly in December. Each partner state is represented by nine members. Jingo Francis, NTV.